Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to trigger a notification from your Android app. So let's begin. As usual, I'll keep the layout pretty simple. So I'll just name it as my notification app. So the focus in this app will be to show uh, how to uh, start the notification and please note from Android 8 onwards the process has changed a little bit so that's why this may be useful for people who are looking for the latest version of the Android okay so I can just name it as a start notification or set notification something like that you can name this button anything and I'll add the constraints and I'll just probably bring it in center there's few warnings, probably yes, hard code text. Just click OK. Perfect. And now before I begin, I will just quickly create a public method which will get associated to that button set notification. So of course I just want to focus on the trigger part. So I'll just show it here. But in your real actual code, uh, this trigger point could be various uh, events in your uh, workflow. Okay, and here in the on click attribute. I'll just set this method as the on click attribute for that particular uh, button. That's it. And before I start, I'll also create a kind of uh, class variable and string. And probably I'll put a cap flock channel ID. It's like a kind of constant which we'll be using it. And you can name this anything. So my notification. So this is just kind of reference which we will be using notification. Perfect. Now coming to the actual uh, code over here. Code is pretty much simple. We have to first create an intent. I think I should be capital. That's what was missing. Intent. You can name this variable anything. Intent notification. Uh, I think again I did a spelling mistake over here. No problem. And do a new intent. And the context will be of course this one and main activity dot class yes and once you have created this intent then we may have to create a pending intent where the notification will be uh, delivered and pending intent could be get activity context will be of course the present one this and what else we will need is probably we will need uh, it should prompt uh, okay I think it needed a kind of uh, request code which you can give any number and then intent which we have just not defined above and then the flag so flag probably we can take something like uh, probably we have few options i'll just take the current update current so that it will update whatever the current notification it is there it will update that but now we move further and what i will do is now i create a notification compact uh, notification compact dot Builder, yes, and I just name it safe enable builder uh, notification compact again. You can name this variable anything, it depends upon your uh, style or convention. And here we will create a new notification compact builder. And this, and this is the place where you will be needing the channel ID which we just created above. And this is something new, is what I guess. And now we have to set the different or various things like say for example you can add the text, uh, title, intent and various settings we have to do. So probably we can start with intent and intent will be of course we can do the guess. So intent will be nothing but the intent we just now created above. And apart from that okay no this will be of course the pending intent not the uh, uh, yeah because uh, pending intent will contain that main intent. And what else we will have is set content probably title and uh, uh, my notification can be a title here what else we will have is probably we can see something in the body and we can just set for that content text my notification text here yes you can, you can write anything here it doesn't matter okay and that's all is what I guess or probably we can also do one thing is we can set the uh, icon 
so i just set quickly the set content oh no, no not content a small icon yes and in the icon you can just put android dot r dot probably drawable dot and then we get options so probably i'll just choose a star big on i think this should work or i think we have something called a button star big on yes perfect so that's all uh, in terms of uh, building our builder now what we'll create is we'll create a notification manager notification manager and and this will take from the system service get system service and notification service is what we required here it may ask you to do a, a casting please do it and that's all in terms of creating the notification manager now from uh, android 8 onwards we have to create a notification channel on which this will be delivered so there can be various or numerous channels which can be created and it gives you a way to handle your notifications better so that's the only purpose and this will be the uh, of course uh, id the channel id to which this particular notification builder has been built and then the sequence i think you can give any sequence here so uh, this is my first notification and then importance importance you can choose i'll show you there are various options so i think i'll go with the uh, default but you can go for with high low and uh, of course as the name suggests you will that particular notification will get that particular priority but i will not uh or i'll suggest not to abuse it uh only if you really think that's a critical try to use that okay so once we have the channel id then what we can do is we can set the channel id to our notification manager so i think it should have been the small n and not the capital n uh yes and we can create our notification channel so yes and here we will give the our channel which we just now created our perfect so now it's created now the only thing which is left is to notify or the trigger uh, notification and for that can you just notify id you can give any number probably I'll just give zero and then the notification what we really want to uh, uh, notify so for that we have just created a builder and you can just do a build and that's all so i think our app is complete i'll just quickly run in the emulator and see what it happens so perfect our emulator has come up i'll just bring this side by side and this is the layout which we have created and now i'll click on this button to see okay we could have removed this text view that's not required anyway so i can see the moment i click this button which is basically this part of the code has uh, run and it has brought some notification perfect so i can see that uh, it has brought that my notification and my notification here so these are the title and the text which goes here and yeah that's all and the my notification app is the title of this particular app is what i guess okay so that's all is what i wanted to show you uh, quickly that is pretty simple and easy to create the notification and notify uh, and the trigger point could be of course obviously something different rather than calling a particular button trigger but it's still like uh, this this gives you a fair idea how to call the notification so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day. bye